Hello and welcome to the Irish History Podcast. My name is Finn Dwyer. Now quizzes are all the rage at the moment, so this podcast is a quiz on Irish history that you can take right now. It was originally designed for a YouTube fundraiser for the Matter Foundation, but I thought it would make a great bonus episode. To make it more fun, I've set up a system where you can enter your answers online and receive your score immediately. To get involved is really easy. So as you're listening to this, all you have to do is open up the page irishhistorypodcast.ie forward slash quiz. That's irishhistorypodcast.ie forward slash quiz. The link is in the show notes below. Now on that page, you'll see the podcast and beneath it is a form asking for your email address where your scores will be sent to at the end of the quiz. So fill that in and then click next. After clicking next, you'll see the first round, Kings and Warlords. As I read out the questions, all you have to do is select one of the five possible answers for each question. At the end of the quiz, submit your answers and you'll receive your score and the correct answers immediately. There's nine rounds in total and there's seven questions in each round, so it shouldn't take too long, but it's a bit of fun. Maybe challenge some of your mates to do it while you're doing it yourself. I should say I didn't write all the questions, so I wanted to thank Stephanie Lord for the mythology round, Sam McGrath for the music round and Kevin Brannigan for the sports round. Finally, this was an aid of the Matter Foundation, which supports the amazing work that goes on in the Matter Hospital in Dublin. If you want to support their essential work in the fight against COVID-19, check out matterfoundation.ie. That's matterfoundation.ie. I'll put a link to that as well in the show notes. Now, let's start the quiz. So, round one. Question one. A plan was devised to kidnap which British monarch and bring them to the Wicklow Mountains during a royal visit to Ireland in the 19th century. Henry II, George IV, Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth II or Prince Charles? Question 2. Which Irish island had its own king into the 21st century? The Aran Islands, the Inishgi Islands, Tory Island... Cape Clear Island or the Blasket Islands. Which of these monarchs laid siege to Dublin? Henry II, King John, Robert the Bruce, Queen Mary or Edward III? Question 4. The Irishman Henry O'Farrell tried to assassinate which royal? Prince Edward, Prince Albert, Prince Alfred, Prince Philip or Prince Louis? Question 5. Who succeeded Brian Brew as High King of Ireland on his death in 1014? Was it Niall Glundov, Muel Shocknell I, Murkathoch O'Brien, Muel Shocknell II or Flan Sinna? Question 6. The official entity, the Kingdom of Ireland, came into existence in the early 16th century. When did it cease to exist? 1800 with the passage of the Act of Union, 1829 with Catholic Emancipation, 1922 at Irish Independence, 1949 at the Declaration of the Irish Republic, or it technically still exists today. And question 7. Which Irish courtesan was blamed for the 1848 rebellion in Bavaria? Was it Mary O'Malley, Lola Montez, Charlotte Clancy, Eleanor Fitzgerald or Jane Celeste? I'll just summarise those questions again before we move on to round two. So question one was about that plan to kidnap a monarch and bring them to the Wicklow Mountains in the 19th century. Which monarch was it? Question two was which Irish island had its own king into the 21st century? Question three is which monarch laid siege to Dublin? Question four is about that Irishman, Henry O'Farrell, who tried to assassinate a royal. Which royal was it? Question five was about the successor of Brian Boru as High King. Who was that? Question six, the official entity, the Kingdom of Ireland, came into existence in the early 16th century. When did it cease to exist? And then question seven is about the Irish courtesan blamed for the 1848 rebellion in Bavaria. Now we'll move on to round two revolutionaries. Question 1. Anne Devlin was involved in which Irish rebellion? The 1641 rebellion, the 1803 rebellion, the 1916 rising, the 1919 war of independence or the troubles? Question 2. The US revolutionary. 
Mother Jones was born where? County Cork, County Dublin, County Kilkenny, County Waterford or County Tipperary? Question 3. Which revolutionary had the surname Booth on her birth cert? Kathleen Lynn, Muriel McSweeney, Constance Markovich. There's a badge of her actually below the quiz if you want to check that out. Hannah Sheehy Skeffington or Jenny Wise Power? Question 4. Which one of these individuals from Ireland's revolutionary generation was the last to die? Tom Barry, Muriel McSweeney, Florence O'Donoghue, Rosie Hackett or Eamon de Valera? Question 5. The Battle of Carrick Shock took place in which conflict? The Battle of Carrick Shock. Was it in the 1798 rebellion, the Tithe War, the Land War, the anti-conscription movement of the early 20th century or the War of Independence? Question 6. Oliver Bond was a member of which organisation? The Provisional IRA, the Fenians, the Society of United Irishmen, the Irish Volunteers or the White Boys? That's Oliver Bond. Which organisation was he a member of? And then finally, question 7 in this round on revolutionaries. The Cork native, Fergus O'Connor, was a leading figure in which 19th century radical movement? The Molly Maguires, the Land League, the Chartists, the First International or the International Working Men's Association? So I'm just going to run through those questions again before we move on. So question one in the round on revolutionaries was about Anne Devlin. Which rebellion was she involved in? Question two is about Mother Jones. Where was she born? Question three, which revolutionary had the surname Booth on her birth cert? Question four, which one of those individuals was the last of Ireland's revolutionary generation to die? Question five is about the Battle of Carrick Shock. In which conflict did it take place? Question six is about Oliver Bond and what organisation he was a member of. And then question seven was about Fergus O'Connor and what movement did he lead in the 19th century. Now we're on to round three, mythology, and these questions were written by Stephanie Lord. Question one, who killed Fionn McCool's father? Was it Gyul MacMorna, Gillan MacMillan, Gormla, Satanta or Baylor? Question two, in the mythological cycle, what race from northern Spain usually considered the ancestors of the Gaels, invaded Ireland and overthrew the Tua de Danann. Was it the Firbulg, the Aesirda, the Milesians, the Aesir or the Fomorians? Question 3. In mythology, who is credited with the invention of the Oum alphabet? Queen Maeve, Log, Oma, Deirdre or Fond? Question 4. What was the name of Cú Cullen's best friend and foster brother that he fought to death in single combat in the Toyn Bocúlna? Ferdia, Ferdinand, Oisín, Cian, the Dogda. Question 5. What is the name of the stone at the Hill of Tara that legend has it roared when the rightful King of Ireland stood upon it? The Undry Stone, the Holy Stone of Clon Rickert, the Leah Foyle, the Blarney Stone or Stonehenge. Question 6. Where did King Cahor Macnossa's brown bull that Queen Maeve stole roam? Was it Carlo, Kinnegad, Kilkenny, Cooley or Cork? And question 7. What goddess, often associated with death in battle, is sometimes depicted as a crow and also appears washing blood-stained clothes to those about to die? Was it Bowen, the Morrigan, Ethan, Maeve or Neve. And I'll just run through those quickly again before we move on to round four. So question one is about Fionn McCool's father. Question two is about the ancestors of the Gaels from northern Spain. Who are they? Question three is who is credited with the invention of the Oum alphabet. Question four is about Cú Cullen's best friend and foster brother that he would kill in combat. Question five is the name of that stone at Tara that supposedly roared when the rightful king stood upon it. Question six is about where Cahor Macnossa's brown bull supposedly roamed. And then question seven is about the goddess, often associated with death in battle, who is sometimes depicted as a crow or appears washing blood-stained clothes to those who are about to die. We're going to move on now to round four, which is about scandal. 
So round four, scandal. Question one. The daughter of the one-time Lord Chancellor of Ireland, Lord Ashburn, tried to assassinate which dictator? I'm pretty sure I mentioned her in a podcast. Was it Adolf Hitler, General Franco, Joseph Stalin, Benito Mussolini or Dr Salazar? Question two. Oscar Wilde sued which aristocrat for libel, a case that would lead to his own prosecution? So which of these aristocrats did Oscar Wilde sue? Was it the Duke of Devonshire, the Marquess of Queensbury, the Earl of Shaftesbury, the Duke of Rutland or the Earl of Portland? Then question three is about Michael Collins. He supposedly had an affair with which one of these women? The Marchioness of Ormond, Maud Gonn, Lady Gregory, Lady Lavery or Countess Markovitch? Question four. The journalist Richard Piggott tried to blackmail which of these Irish politicians? Daniel O'Connell, C.S. Parnell, Roger Casement, Isaac Butt or John McBride? Question five. The Irish woman, Louisa Murphy, was the lover of which one of these individuals? Frederick Engels, Wilhelm I of Prussia, Louis XV of France, John Locke or Clemens von Metternich? Question 6. To avoid unwanted marriages, Eleanor Butler eloped with Sarah Ponsonby. The two became known as the ladies of which Welsh town? Lanberis, Landudno, Lanelli, Langollen or Lanawist? And then question 7. John Jemison, an heir to Jemison's whisky in the late 19th century, was implicated in a scandal relating to what? Was it cannibalism, bigamy, homosexuality, atheism or Jack the Ripper? I'll run through those questions again before we move on to the next round. So question one was about the daughter of Lord Ashburn who tried to assassinate which dictator? Question two is about who was the aristocrat sued by Oscar Wilde? Question three, the woman Michael Collins was rumoured to have had an affair with in the early 1920s. Question four, the journalist Richard Piggott tried to blackmail which of those Irish politicians? Question five, Louisa Murphy, the Irish woman, had an affair with which one of those men? And then question six was about Eleanor Butler and Sarah Ponsonby, who eloped and became known as the ladies of which of those Welsh towns? And then question seven is about John Jemison, the heir to Jemison's whiskey, and he was implicated in a scandal about one of those topics. What was it? Now we move on to the music round. These questions were compiled by Sam McGrath. Question one. Enya started her career with who? Alton, the Bothy Band, Clonid, Moving Hearts or Planksty? Question 2. Which Dublin band appeared in an episode of the American teen drama, the TV series The O.C. in 2005? Was it U2, The Thrills, The Frames, Bell X1 or Republic of Loose? Question 3. The Irish folk singer Luca Bloom is the younger brother of which artist? Is it Shane McGowan, Dolores Kane, Christy Moore, Bob Geldof or Sharon Shannon? Question 4. Bruce Springsteen recorded a version of which Irish anti-war ballad for his 2006 album We Shall Overcome, The Seeger Sessions? Was it Arthur McBride, The Streets of Sorrow, A Pair of Brown Eyes, Mrs McGrath or Salonica? Question 5. The Lion and the Cobra is the debut album of which Irish artist? Van Morrison, Sinead O'Connor, Bob Geldof, Dolores O'Riordan or Joe Dolan. And question six. The Clancy Brothers were cited as an inspiration by which US musician? Was it Chris Christopherson, Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash, Emmy Lou Harris or Dolly Parton? And then finally question seven. Which Irish singer was commemorated with statues in the Ivy Gardens in Dublin in 2008 and at Lone in 2014? Was it Luke Kelly, Joe Dolan, John McCormack, Val Dunican, or Rory Gallagher? Just to run through the music round again, question one was about Enya and who she started her career with. Question two is about which Dublin band appeared in the teen drama TV series The O.C. in 2005. Question three... Luca Bloom is the younger brother of who? Question four. What Irish anti-war ballad did Bruce Springsteen record for his album We Shall Overcome, The Seeger Sessions? Question five. Which Irish artist's debut album was called The Lion and the Cobra? Question six. The Clancy Brothers inspired which famous US musician? 
And then question seven, which Irish singer has statues in the Ivy Gardens in Dublin and Athlone? Now the next round is on war and empire. Question one, what war had the largest number of Irish participants? So which war had the largest number of Irish participants? I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in a podcast in the last couple of years. So was it the English Civil War, the US Civil War, the Boer War, World War I or World War II? Name the Irish person who was an agent for the Special Operations Executive in the Second World War. Was it Samuel Beckett, Maureen O'Sullivan, Cahill Jemison, Mary Mallon or Hubert Butler? Question 3. During the Spanish Civil War, the Donegal man, Brian Gould de Rochelle, was kidnapped and spirited away to which country, where he was imprisoned and would die in 1942? Was it Germany, Italy, Spain, Mexico or the USSR? Question 4. Which one of these Irishmen served as Viceroy of India? George Charles Bingham, the 3rd Earl of Lucan, Arthur Wellesley, the Duke of Wellington, Richard Burke, the Earl of Mayo, Francis Eppingham, the Baron of Callan, or John Butler, the Marcus of Ormond. Question 5. Which one of the following commanders in the Boer War was not born in Ireland? Was it Lord Kitchener, Lord Roberts, Lord French, Sir Thomas Kelly Kenny, or John McBride? Question 6. The Dubliner, Mary Clare Moore, was a nurse in which conflict? Was it the Seven Years' War, the Crimean War, the Boer War, the First World War or the Spanish Civil War. And question seven, the earliest record of Africans in Ireland dates to which of the following periods? 800 to 910, 1170 to 1300, 1400 to 1550, 1625 to 1725 or 1775 to 1915? Now I'll just run through those questions before we move on to the next round. So question one, which war had the largest number of Irish participants? Question two, the Irish person who was an agent for the Special Operations Executive in World War II. Question three, who kidnapped the Donegal man Brian Gould Versailles in the Spanish Civil War? Question four, the Irish man who was the Viceroy of India. Question five, which one of the following Boer War commanders was not born in Ireland. Question 6. The Dublin woman, Mary Clare Moore, was a nurse in which one of those conflicts? And then question 7. The earliest record of Africans in Ireland. Which one of those time periods does it date to? Now the next round is assassins and murderers. Question 1. The Viking who killed Brian Boru was from where? Orkney, Denmark, the Isle of Man, Norway or Iceland? Question 2. In 1882, the Chief Secretary for Ireland, Frederick Cavendish, was killed in the Phoenix Park murders. So too was the permanent undersecretary. What was his surname? Foster, Brown Johnson, Burke, Thompson or Clarendon? Question 3. The most famous assassination during the Great Hunger took place outside Strokestown in 1847. The victim was the local landlord. What was his name? There was an episode on this in the Great Famine series. Was it Lucan? Butler, Mahan, Craig or Wandesford? Question 4. Oswald Swansea was assassinated by the IRA in 1920 because of his involvement in what incident? The Bloody Sunday Massacre, the murder of Tomás McCurtain, the Cairo Gang, the execution of Kevin Barry or the murder of Sean Tracy? Question 5. When was the last death sentence handed down in Ireland? Was it the 1940s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s or the 80s? Question 6. The victims of the Mam Trasna murders in 1882 were from which family? Was it the Flaherty's, the Casey's, the Joyce's, the Hoodies or the Cassidy's? And then question 7. When was the last death sentence in Ireland carried out? The last death sentence in Ireland carried out. So was it 1924, 1934? 1942, 1954 or 1964. Just to run through the questions from the assassins and murders round again. Where was the Viking who killed Brian Baru from? What was the surname of the second person killed in the Phoenix Park murders? Question 3 was about the famous assassination during the Great Hunger. Who was the victim? Question 4 was about Oswald Swansea. 
what incident had he been involved in that led the IRA to assassinate him in 1920? Question 5. When was the last death sentence handed down in Ireland? Question 6. The name of the family attacked in the Mam Trashna murders? And then question 7. Was when was the last death sentence carried out in Ireland? Now we we'll move on to the second last round, which is on sport. So this is the sports round. Question 1. In 1989, Billy Young and Brian Kerr led a League of Ireland selection to play in which one of these countries? Was it Spain, Libya, Iran, Morocco or Syria? Question 2. Name the first black player to win a senior international cap for the Irish soccer team. Was it Paul McGrath, Phil Babb, Chris Hutton, Stephen Reid or Paul Bryant? Since turning pro, how many wins does the famous Irish boxer Katie Taylor have under her belt? Is it 7, 10, 12, 14 or 15? Question 4. How many Olympic gold medals does the controversial Irish swimmer Michelle Smith have? Is it none, 1, 3, 4 or 5? Question 5. The terrace in Crow Park, known as Hill 16, was originally known as what? Hill 3, Hill 6, Hill 32, Hill 60 or Hill 80? Question 6. How many senior All-Ireland finals did former Taoiseach Jack Lynch win with Cork? Was it 3, 4, 5, 6 or 7? And then the last question in the sports round. Question 7. The 1947 All-Ireland Senior Football Final was unique because it was played where? McGovern Park, Ryslip in London, Parky Cueve, Cork, Celtic Park in Glasgow, the Polo Grounds, New York, or Lansdowne Road in Dublin. Just to run through the sports round again. Question 1. Where did Billy Young and Brian Kerr lead a League of Ireland selection to play in 1989? Question 2. Who was the first black player to win a senior international cap for Ireland? Question 3. How many medals does Katie Taylor have under her belt? Question 4 is about how many gold medals does the controversial swimmer Michelle Smith have? Question 5. What was the original name of Hill 16 in Crow Park? Question 6. How many senior All-Ireland finals did former Taoiseach Jack Lynch win with Cork? And then question 7 was about the 1947 All-Ireland senior football final and why it was unique. Now we move on to the last round, which is general history. So question one, Bridget Byrne was admitted to the North Dublin Workhouse in 1903 at the age of 109. How many Republican rebellions had she lived through in her life? Now this does not include social conflicts like the Land War. I'm talking about explicit Republican rebellions. Was it three, four, six, seven or eight? That's Bridget Byrne, who was admitted to the North Dublin Workhouse in 1903 at the age of 109. How many Republican rebellions had she lived through? Question 2. When asked who he supported in the Spanish Civil War, which Irish writer simply replied, Up the Republic? James Joyce, Samuel Beckett, W.B. Yeats, Brendan Behan or Sean O'Fuelon? Question 3. Which war horse was first bred in medieval Ireland? The Destrier, the Palfrey, the Corsair, the Rouncey or the Hobbler? Question 4. The Roman name for Ireland was Hibernia. What does that mean? Land of constant rain, land of eternal winter, land of eternal violence, land of autumn or land of wine? Question 5. Which Tory leader supported intervention and famine aid to Ireland from 1846 onwards? A surprising Tory leader who supported intervention and famine aid to Ireland from 1846 onwards. Was it Sir Robert Peel, Lord Bentinck, Lord Monteagle, Nassau Senior or John O'Connell? Question 6. What is considered to be the worst famine in Irish history? Is it the Great Hunger, the Year of Slaughter, the Great Medieval Famine, the 1875 Famine or the 1924 Famine? And then the last question in the quiz is about a somewhat notorious character. So question 7. During the Great Famine, Charles Trevelyan was one of the following. Which was it? So was he a landlord, an MP, a civil servant, a member of the House of Lords, or a journalist? To run through those questions one last time, 
So question one is about Bridget Byrne, admitted to the workhouse in 1903 at the age of 109. How many rebellions had she lived through? Question two, who set up the Republic when asked about the Spanish Civil War? Question three, which one of those war horses was first bred in Ireland? Question four, what does the Roman word for Ireland, which was Hibernia, mean? Question five, who was the Tory leader who supported intervention and famine aid in Ireland? Question six, the worst Irish famine in history. And then question seven, what position or status did Charles Trevelyan hold during the Great Famine? So if you just click submit when you're ready, you'll get an automatic response telling you how well you did and all the correct answers. That's where I'm going to leave this show, folks. The next episode is on a really interesting topic. It's about a history of the deaf community in Ireland. That'll be out on Monday. Until then, Sloan. <laughs>